Thank you.
Hello, everyone. How's it going? Hello, hello. It's good to see everybody. <laughs> oh my goodness, I just realized something. It's not office hours anymore. It's English. English class. English class time. <laughs> English class time. Office hours. Office hours were last... Well, yesterday. Office hours were yesterday. <laughs> I hope that everyone is having a good, good, good day today. Uh, let me know, is is the background music at a good level? Is it is it good? I hope it's not too loud for everyone. Hopefully it's at a good level. <laughs> hello, hello. How is everybody today? Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Okay, it's Monday, so that means... That means it's English class time, and... The, the BGM is good? Okay, that's good. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Um, it is English class time, so that means that we are going to be working on ESL. So what does ESL mean? It means English as a second language. So what that means is I'm going to be teaching English at a little bit of a slower pace today. See here. Okay gonna take off my headphones for a moment too <laughs> okay so I'm going to get the materials ready we are going to talk about groceries today groceries so that means we're going to be talking we're going to be mostly focusing on food today mostly focusing on food today and I think food is really really wonderful to talk about <laughs> I think food is very very yummy I think everyone can agree. Food is very delicious and very good, and it makes us it makes us function. It makes us live. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm just going to get everything ready for us. Da, 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 da. Okay. And we're going to be talking about meals as well. Mmm, scrumptious, scrumptious. That's a good word. That's a good word to describe food. Scrumptious. <laughs> Here we go. So we're going to talk about food and meals. Um, I thought it'd be interesting to talk about breakfast, lunch, and dinner as well, because that goes with groceries. You need, when you buy, when you buy groceries, you need to think about what you're going to eat for breakfast, breakfast in the morning, lunch in the afternoon, and dinner, dinner in the evening. So we need to make sure that we have, we have food for all the proper meals of the day. Sometimes uh, people like to have snacks as well, but we will focus on breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> so that's what we will do. So, food and meals. Breakfast. You could even tell me, what are what's uh, some of the food that you see on here? I see that there's a, a lot of delicious food. I see that there is some toast. There is some toast here. Some people like to drink coffee, coffee in the morning. Some people like to drink juice in the morning. There's a bunch of fruit here too. We're going to talk about some fruit. Yeah, eggs. Mmm, looks like there's like a cereal bowl or maybe like it's a yogurt bowl. That looks really delicious too. <laughs> it looks kind of like oatmeal. Maybe like the oatmeal is right here. You got a little bit of some oatmeal, some blueberries. You got a little bit of raspberries too. Mmm, <laughs> that looks really delicious. And bacon! I think there's a lot of people that like bacon. Mmm. Bacon is really, really yummy, but you have to make sure not to not to eat it too much because uh, it could be a little bit on on the unhealthy side. It looks like there's like some butter and some jams. Mmm. Oh, butter. So what some people like to do is that they like to put butter 
on the toast first and then they put jam. But I know that there's some people that just put jam on their toast too. But I think apparently this is what I've heard the proper way um, is to put butter on and then you put your jam on. I think it's uh, the same for other spreads too. <laughs> so there we go. There's a lot, there's a lot here. There's like bread or like breakfast buns. Maybe they're, maybe some of these are croissants. I can't, I can't tell. <laughs> and there's sausages too. Lots and lots of good food here. Lots of good food for breakfast. And then we got some, we got some more. We got some bread. Maybe it might be a bun. We got sausages, sausages. I think what I'll do is I'll move it a little bit up here so everyone can see sausages. We got bacon and we got eggs. Eggs can be scrambled, they can be fried, they can be poached. There's lots of different ways to make eggs. Hmm, lots and lots of different ways to make eggs. <laughs> And we got some more here. We got an orange and we got orange juice. We got coffee and toast. And we got an apple over here too. Maybe I can move this a little bit here. We got an apple. Kind of interesting how um, we have orange juice. So if you want to drink apple juice, it's apple juice. <laughs> so you can put like the name of the fruit before the juice. <laughs> so orange juice, maybe apple juice. What is your favorite drink in the morning? I like to drink tea in the morning. But I know that there's a lot of people that like to drink orange juice in the morning. Some people drink apple juice in the morning too. And if you're really, really busy, if you're a very, very busy person, like a student, or maybe... Maybe you know that your teachers drink coffee in the morning too, if you're very, very busy. <laughs> so that could be something as well. Ooh, coffee. Oh, and now you just drink water. I've heard that one of the very, very healthy things that people can do in the morning is that you drink one full glass of water in the morning to kind of uh, start your whole body into working properly. So that's what I've been trying to do too. I know that, uh, I know tea is really good, but if you drink too much tea, it can dehydrate you. So it's good to drink lots of water during the day as well, <laughs> which I'm actually going to do right now. It's good to drink water. It makes your body function nicely. <laughs> oh, and we got a muffin. Some people like to eat muffins in the morning. <laughs> yogurt. Yogurt is really good too. And there's a nice little strawberry. Maybe not little. Maybe it's a, it's a little bit of a bigger strawberry topped right off here. What I used to do when I was, uh, I think I was in high school or so, I would, I would eat yogurt before uh, going to school because it was very, very fast and I could just eat yogurt and then, then I can get on to the school bus. <laughs> So we have muffin, yogurt. Looks like there's a little bit of some, um, hmm, like some oatmeal maybe on top, like sprinkled on top. Maybe there's a little bit of some raisins there. It's kind of a little bit hard to tell there. Big strawberry, big strawberry. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the next part then. Hello, 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 hello everyone joining. Big strawberry. I love I love strawberries. Strawberries are really good. Very, very delicious. Very sweet. <laughs> so, maybe we can label some of these. Mmm. Let's label things. Um. I remember. I have a different program for this one. I don't have a PowerPoint. Uh, this one I made in OpenOffice. I think it was insert text. The reason why I can't have it on the full presentation too, for some reason the presentation goes on to my other monitor, which is quite interesting. I think what I'll do 
is what I'll do is I'll copy this and then I'll we'll do this instead. Whoa. Whoa, I want to make it tinier. No, I don't want to rotate it. I want to make it tinier. Oh my goodness. Oh, this program's weird. <laughs> you know what we'll do? Let's see here. Maybe what we could do is we could do this and then we can like put it like over here. Let's see here. I see that we have some orange juice on the left side. So first we have some orange juice. What are some other things that you see in the picture? You can tell me. What are some other things that you see in this picture? I'll make this a little bit smaller. So here we have the orange juice. We see pancakes, there's pancakes over here, and there's milk. It's true, so we have, I'm gonna just use my mouse to, right over here, right over here we have pancakes. I think what we can do is I can, I can take this and then I can, I can put one over here. So we know that the pancakes are gonna be over here. Pancakes. Pancakes are over here. I'm gonna put this one a little bit more on top here. So we have orange juice. We also have milk over here. And we know milk comes from the cow. And <laughs> just like what we learned yesterday on the farm. <laughs> yes, there is also yogurt here. There's some yogurt right on the bottom. How many people like um, fruit bottom yogurt? I usually prefer the yogurt that's all mixed in. I usually don't like the fruit at the bottom. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's like a texture thing, but... <laughs> oh, bacon. Bacon is over there, too. Let's see. We have... Yogurt. And there's also bacon. Bacon is over here. Looks like there's some bacon on, on this plate, too. Kind of like similar over there. Another thing we have is cereal. Cereal is also over here. It looks like we got some cereal, we got some milk, and we got that. So I'm gonna put that over here. And looks like we got some eggs and sausages as well. But we see that there's fried eggs. Sunny side up, fried eggs over here as well. We got eggs. And sausage. Oh, we also have coffee. There's coffee here too. Coffee's nice and hot. Hot, hot, hot. Mmm, <laughs> Greek yogurt is really good. And toast. We have toast. Right over here. <laughs> so we got lots of things. It looks like we got a little bit of some, um, I think these are tomatoes. It's kind of hard to tell, but it looks like these are like tomato slices. Here, I'll put that over here. Got some tomato. Looks like there's like slices of tomato there. <laughs> oh yes, I forgot the sausage. We got sausage. Oh, I thought I was typing. Sausage. Got sausage. We got a nice list here of lots of things for breakfast. So these are some of the things that you can shop for when you're um, in the grocery store. So when you're at the grocery store, you can say, 
I'm looking for orange juice. I'm looking for milk. I think what we can do is I'm going to make another... <clears throat> I'll make this over here. I'm looking for... So, we have looking. So looking is like with your with your eyes. Look. Looking. When you're looking very intensely at the chalkboard when you're in class. Wow. Very very intensely looking. <laughs> so, maybe when you're when you're looking at hmm things to buy. Maybe you're looking for the milk. I'm looking for milk. So you can replace this for what you're looking for when you're going to the grocery store. I'm looking for orange juice. I'm looking for milk. I'm looking for yogurt. I'm looking for cereal. Maybe the aisle where it's down in the grocery store. <laughs> very intense JoJo stare. Speaking of JoJo, I'm very excited that the new JoJo was announced. If we're going to talk about JoJo things. <laughs> I'm very, very excited for the new JoJo. <laughs> Next, we have lunch. Oh, lunch is so good. I think dinner's probably my favorite, but lunch is pretty good. <laughs> lunch foods are really good to have. It looks like we have a lot of nice things here. We have some milk, we have apples. It looks like maybe some rice and like, like a, hmm. Make this a little bit bigger. It looks like there's like some corn and vegetables here. Chicken nuggets, maybe some bread, sandwiches. Mmm, oh, chicken nuggets are very delicious. So chicken nuggets, chicken that's very, very tiny, very small, and very bite size. <laughs> chicken nuggets look good. Mmm, sometimes what people will say is that chicken nuggets, we call them nuggies as like, Almost like a... <laughs> Just because it sounds cute. Chicken nuggies. And then it looks like we have some uh, food that you can heat up. You can heat up uh, cold food from the, fr um, the freezer. From the feet. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. <laughs> from the freezer. From the freezer. You can heat up that food as well. That's what I actually do when I go to work. I buy frozen meals and then I heat them up in the lunchroom at work. <laughs> Ooh, cookies. There's like some cookies for like a snack as well. So these are going to be lots of lunch foods. So some lunch foods that we can see, well, this one, right over here where my mouse is, when you have bread and you have lettuce and cheese and maybe some sliced meat or tomatoes, you can make that into a sandwich. Sandwich? There's also crackers. Oh, crackers are good to have with soup. Sometimes people put the crackers in their soup or you can dip crackers in your soup as well. <laughs> And we have some fruits. We have the apple, red apple here, banana, banana. Some people bring bananas for our lunch. You can peel them. It is a yellow fruit. And we have oranges that we saw for breakfast. Some people like to bring grapes. Grapes are bite size. They're very easy to eat, so you can just pop them in your mouth. We got carrots. Carrots are right here. The orange ones. Orange carrots here. Some people like to have celery. 
celery is here, the green, the green vegetable right next to the carrots. Mmm, very good. <laughs> and broccoli. Some people will bring broccoli or maybe another vegetable. Maybe another vegetable. Maybe they will have a salad. So when you put lots of vegetables and you mix them together with lettuce, you get a salad. I think my favorite salad is a Caesar salad. Caesar salads are really good. I like when there's uh when there's chicken. When there's chicken inside a uh, Caesar salad. Sometimes, sometimes if there's like bacon bits, sometimes. And just like before, we looked at milk. Milk that comes from the cow, and we also learned that during the office hours time. <laughs> and soup. Some people will bring soup. Ah, oh, Caesar salad's so good, isn't it? <laughs> and there is yogurt, salad, mmm, pizza. Some people will have pizza that are, is maybe left over. Maybe leftover pizza from dinner. And then they will bring it for their lunch. They can microwave it. Oh, pizza is yummy. Sometimes you can get like uh, prepared pizzas at the supermarket. So if you go to the fresh area where they make fresh foods in the supermarket, sometimes you can get a pizza there. Or you can get frozen pizza. Frozen pizza at the supermarket. Sometimes. <laughs> and then, this is a good word to know. This is what I teach everybody. Leftovers. Leftovers is the food that you have yesterday that you cooked and prepared, and then you can have it the next day. So leftovers from home. So sometimes if you ask someone, hey, what do you have for lunch? What do you have for dinner? Maybe some people might say leftovers. So leftovers could be maybe the pizza from yesterday, maybe some rice and chicken from yesterday. I had some leftovers on the weekend. So on the weekend, I made a lot of chicken. <laughs> so then I had leftovers of the chicken. <laughs> so some people like to meal plan for many days. And sometimes it can be difficult, but sometimes if you meal plan for many days, you can have leftovers for that too. So that's what some people will have for lunch. Some people will have leftovers for dinner as well. So leftovers could be food from yesterday or the day before. Oh, it's dinner and supper time. Dinner and supper time when you need to buy this food at the grocery store. Ooh, looks like we have a lot of nice things here. Particularly, maybe a steak or maybe a pork chop. Hmm, steak and pork chops are good. Sometimes they can be a little bit expensive, but if you want to say at the supermarket, maybe I'm looking for steak. I'm looking for steak. It's really, really delicious. Sometimes you can get it on sale. Ah. Oh. <laughs> is this wine? I think it. I think it is. Yes. I think uh, with the picture zoomed in. Mm. I I know for some supermarkets you can buy wine or beer sometimes, but you have to make sure that. You have to make sure you're of age, right? But sometimes if you buy wine or beer at a supermarket, they might charge extra. So if you want to make sure if, uh, if they're not charging extra, you can just buy your beer and wine at a beer store or a liquor store. I don't know how it works everywhere in the world, but usually if you buy beer or wine at a supermarket, they will charge extra, just, just a little bit. At least that's how it is in my area. <laughs> so if you want to go to the liquor store, you might want to buy things there. It might be a little bit cheaper. 
Oh, and then it looks like we have some noodles. Some noodles, we have some pasta. Sometimes if you go to the fresh made section, you can find some fresh pasta if you don't want to cook that evening. So you can find fresh pasta in the fresh, freshly cooked area of some supermarkets. Oh, the tools? Ah, that's a that's a good question. Here, let's uh let's do that. Looks like here. I'm going to copy this. So the one that's on here. So we have this one, it's a fork. Ta tableware could be um, everything that's laid out. So you have your fork and your knife and maybe a spoon. This person has chopsticks over here. Here, so right here, it looks like when you eat meat, you need to eat with a knife. Yes, utensils, that's a good That's a good word too. People ne like to use utensils when they eat. Because it doesn't make our hand, <laughs> it doesn't make our hands messy. So this one here is a fork. And we have a knife. And then the one on top here, that's a good question. Sometimes uh, we don't really think about that a lot. Uh, we have chopsticks. Some people can eat with chopsticks, but I know some people have a hard time to eat with chopsticks. So these would be for utensils. Fork, knife, and chopsticks. Hello, hello, welcome to class. So sometimes when you get food from fast food places, Maybe they will give you a plastic fork or plastic knife. Or maybe they will give you wooden chopsticks. <laughs> there is also something called a spork. That's so true. Um, there's lots of interesting different utensils. Let's take a look at what a spork looks like. It's kind of like a mix between a spoon and a fork. Spork. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll try to zoom in a little bit here. So it's spelt like spork. S-P-O-R-K. Spork. <laughs> so it looks like a fork and a spoon. It's rather interesting because I don't see these too often, but I know that they exist. Or maybe there will be like a spoon here and then a fork on the other side. Spork. <laughs> it's kind of funny to say, isn't it? Spork. <laughs> Let's see, the next part we can go to. So we looked at steak. Steak, just like in our picture over here, it looks like this is a really good steak, a really good maybe pork chop as well. And then we have vegetables. Right here, it looks like there's chicken, but there's vegetables around this area of the chicken. Same here, it looks like there's some really good, maybe sweet potatoes or maybe Maybe they might be carrots, but I think they're sweet potatoes around this chicken. <laughs> it looks like Miss B is here too. I think Miss B is uh, coming by to relax. <laughs> Everybody wave to Miss B. Hello, hello. <laughs> Let's see here. We got mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are really good too. You know what? What we can do is we can Google this. Mash potatoes. So mash means is that it's mixed and kind of crushed together. Mash potatoes. Mmm. Potatoes that are mixed and they're mashed, 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 mashed. <laughs> it's really good. Some people put like lots of butter, so it tastes really yummy. And then we have pasta. I think there's lots of people that like pasta. 
Mmm. There's lots of different pasta. There's like spaghetti, like with marinara sauce. There's Alfredo sauce. Mmm. Fettuccine Alfredo pasta. <laughs> so sometimes you can make this... Well, you can make this yourself if you buy pasta noodles. Or if you want to go to the fresh made section, you can say, I'm looking for pasta noodles. And there's lots of different types. Oh, there's Alfredo, cheese, chicken pasta, macaroni. Macaroni is like the type of noodles. Two, macaroni and cheese. Oh, that's a good one. Tomato pasta, Italian pasta. Ene. Lots and lots of different types. <laughs> oh, we got turkey. Maybe, maybe around... Uh, Easter time that happened on the weekend, maybe some people ate some turkey. This would be the animal. <laughs> this would be the animal for turkey, but turkey as in food. Ooh, that looks really good. Um, turkeys can be very expensive as well. So make sure to buy turkeys maybe, hmm, maybe around the holiday season. Sometimes they can be expensive there, but... Hmm. Yes, there's different different pasta shapes. Past, pasta noodles types. So there's lots of different pasta noodles. The really the really thin ones are called angel hair. There's also ravioli, lasagna, spaghetti. Ooh. There's fettuccine noodles. Lots of different types of pasta noodles. <laughs> tortellini. Oh, tortellini tastes good. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm I'm getting I'm getting hungry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's see. So we have chicken. We can we can see that there's chicken here. <laughs> and then let's see. We have all oh, pierogies. I like pierogies. Pierogies are like a type of dumpling. Pierogies. So it's like a dumpling and you can put cheese inside, you can put potato inside. You can put, um, you can put, mm, lots of things inside pierogies. Some people like pierogies and bacon. Sometimes we put green onion on top, but it's really delicious to put sour cream with pierogies. Mmm, pierogies are really good. Uh, in my- in my area, there's lots of people that eat pierogies. <laughs> but there's lots of different types. Um, some people put sauerkraut inside, uh, pierogies as well. Very, very delicious. Yeah, so it's like a type of dumpling. Oh, tacos! Tacos are good. Oh... Sometimes people will make chicken tacos. Maybe sometimes people make fish tacos. Oh, your go-to is potato and cheese. Oh, I like potato and cheese pierogies. I think those ones are my favorite. Very, very good. <laughs> and then, you know what? I like, I like uh, tacos when people put avocado on top. Sometimes people put avocado and onions. Mmm. Lots and lots and lots of things you can do with tacos. You can have soft tacos or you can have hard tacos. So there's there's hard shell tacos, but there's also soft shell tacos. Very, very yummy. <laughs> Avocado tastes very nice. Then we have salad. I know we, we looked at salad a little bit earlier for lunch. Salad. Yum, 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 yum. 
you can put lots of things in salad like tomatoes um you can you could put tomatoes cucumber lettuce mm, some people put sometimes people put cheese in their lettuce too onions um lots of things some people like to make like savory salads hmm some oh my gosh wait did i say let i think i said lettuce a while ago <laughs> some people like to put um let's see here ah uh, some people put rice in their salads um i think usually if some people put rice they call it like a rice bowl Let's see here. We can look at rice. Rice bowl. Oh. So sometimes when people put a rice bowl, it will be like a mix of lots of lots of different things. So maybe the rice can be like the main part of the dish. So there's rice, maybe there's some meat, or maybe there's egg and cucumber, maybe some noodles and carrots. So I think if it's maybe rice, maybe it would be more of a rice bowl than a salad. But I think that's that's just what I think though. <laughs> Sometimes people will put egg, maybe a hard boiled egg, maybe fried egg in their rice bowl. I think I think I might have a rice bowl tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> yeah, rice bowls are really delicious. And then pizza. Pizza. What kind of pizza does everyone like? I know that there's so many toppings you can put on pizza. Lots and lots of toppings. <laughs> oh, everyone, everyone talks about pineapple on pizza. The controversy. Yes, yes. Um... I, I don't mind pineapple on pizza. If I had to eat if I had to eat Hawaiian pizza, I will eat it. I think it tastes good. I think it's fine. Uh, pineapple and ham. Ooh, mushrooms are good on pizza. Pepperoni, onion, jalapeno. Oh, jalapeno on pizza. That that sounds really good. Oh my goodness. Looks like lots of people. Oh. Lots of people even just like cheese pizza. Even just cheese on pizza is okay. Oh, lots of different... Some people like to put like four different cheeses on their pizza. Usually the most common is pepperoni and cheese. Pepperoni and cheese. Mmm, oh, extra cheese. Extra, extra cheese. <laughs> Has anyone put pizza on pineapple? <laughs> that would be really cute. Just like a little tiny pizza on top of a pineapple. Mmm. <laughs> Maybe. Sometimes you can, uh, if you don't want to get frozen pizza at your grocery store, you can always get, like, uh, fast food pizza. So sometimes people like to get, uh, Pizza Hut, Pizza Pizza, Domino's, um... Lots of different, lots of different pizza places. <laughs> I know everyone has like their favorite pizza place that they go order pizza from. <laughs> and then, oh, I guess if I just, oh, if I just type in fish, I, th I think this... I think we're going to get lots of different uh, fish like this, but what if I did a uh, fish meal? Oh, wait, no, not fish meal. Um, not, not actually feeding fish. Um, hmm. Uh, maybe fish, maybe fish uh, dinner. Ah, there we go. We got some fish dinner. <laughs> fish meal. So... We have lots and lots of different types of fish. Some people like to eat salmon because salmon is very cheap at the grocery store. If you just put salmon into the oven, I think with like some lemon and I think just like a little bit of oil, like, 
I think uh, pe people like to eat salmon a lot. Because it's really cheap. And sometimes people will put things like, like some herbs and things on top of their fish. Um, for fresh freshwater fish, I like to eat pickerel. Pickerel is really good with lemon. Oh, smoked salmon. Smoked salmon sounds so good. Some places in the world, fish is very cheap. But in some places, it can be very expensive if you don't live by, by water. So there's lots of different ways to do fish. Sometimes people like to pair their fish with like, uh, maybe carrots or broccoli. Or some people like to pair their fish with... See here. Oh my goodness, is that avocado? Is that avocado on top of fish? That could be interesting. Oh, a trout. Trout tastes very good too. Ooh. Ooh, there's lots of different ways to prepare fish. But you just gotta make sure to take the bones out. Um, I think if you, uh, you leave some bones in, it could be a bad time for some people. So avocado on salmon's pretty normal. I, I've never tried that. I, I think I would like to try some avocado with salmon. That sounds like a good pairing. That sounds very delicious. Oh, and then, of course, there's uh, fish and chips. Or fish and french fries. <laughs> oh. Fish that's, like, all battered up. Oh, that looks really good, too. Oh. And then we got the word leftovers again. We got the word leftovers. So, I think we all remember, what does leftovers mean from before? when we were talking about lunch. Does everyone remember what leftovers means? I'm gonna drink some water. Oh, means food from yesterday. Yes, yes. So leftovers could be food from yesterday, or it could be food from maybe... It could be also three days ago, or maybe the, uh, the next day, like uh, the day before as well. So it could be yesterday, or it could also be the day before. As long as the leftovers are still good. Because someti sometimes if people leave leftovers inside the fridge for too long, uh, sometimes, sometimes it could be, uh, bad if you leave the food in there for too long. Mm, can food be plural? Um, in some circumstances, so, in some circumstances, usually food, food is, I would say, already, if you refer to food, it's food. Because it's, uh, it's going... Okay, this would be a little bit more complicated, but if we refer to food, it's referring to something as countable or uncountable. So when you talk about food, you're talking about many, well, many types of food, right? You can sometimes use foods when you refer to, like, a specific type of food. So, hmm, I'm trying to see if I can try to find an example for us. It would still be grammatically correct in some cases, but I'm trying to find a good example. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Um, so maybe, okay, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna type this out because this is, uh, something very, very specific. Here. Let's go into Word. Let's go into Microsoft Word. So when you talk about foods, 
I'd say this is going to be a little bit more... Well, maybe not not uh, not academic or anything, but uh, food versus foods. So that's when we talk about countable and uncountable nouns. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's a good question. I like I like it when people have questions. It's okay. It's okay. Um, so for example, if you want to say, well, okay, so I love food. Oops. I love food. Food refers to many, like many types of food. So. But you could say if you're referring to a very specific food. So for example, um, I think people like pickle pickles, right? I, I like pickles. Let's talk about pickled. Pickled foods include red cabbage, beetroot, um, onions, uh, sometimes shallots, and maybe eggs sometimes. People can pickled eggs. So that's when we say pickled foods. If you're referring to a very specific type of food. I hope that makes sense. So maybe... Hmm. Maybe another example could be I'm having frozen food for dinner. Okay, maybe I'm having frozen food for dinner tonight. So I'm having frozen food for dinner tonight, but you could say I found all kinds of frozen foods. So if you're referring to many, ooh, I guess it's a little bit complicated to explain, <laughs> but uh, it's referring to if uh, you're referring to a very specific thing. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Maybe another one could be um, my my doctor. My doctor says I need to eat a lot of vegetables so we're we're already referring to vegetables with a plural vegetables and healthy foods so we're also referring to vegetables and healthy foods i hope that makes sense oh you're welcome you're welcome i i hope that clears it up then i i like it when people have questions <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Basically, this uh, this goes back to countable and uncountable nouns. It's it's rather interesting because I think for native speakers, for native English speakers, we don't really think about that a lot. So, what is countable and what is uncountable nouns? <laughs> so I ho I hope I answered that um, well. So this is usually if you're referring to very specific foods then. So vegetables and healthy foods. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay. So I think what we'll do is we'll talk a little bit about snacks and desserts then. Ooh. So this is where we're going to start talking about Un unhealthy foods. Unhealthy foods you can buy at the supermarket. So, what are some unhealthy foods that you see here? Some unhealthy foods. We can we can label them all too. Oh, anything with sugar. I yeah. 
Oh, we see some ice cream. So ice cream. Ice cream can go over here. Oh, there's pie. True, we got some pie. We can label pie over here. We got pie. Pie. You can have blueberry pie, strawberry pie, um, raspberry pie, lemon pie, key lime pie. Banana split. Yeah, banana split is like a type of sundae. Banana split. Whoa. Split. Whoa. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> banana split. For this one right here. This one, we have a lot of different pie. A lot of different pie right here. And the one on top here we have is cake. Ah, uh, cake. Usually we have cake for birthday parties. Birthday parties or things that we celebrate. So we have cake. We have a banana split. Banana split. We got lots of different pies and things here. Got one slice of pie and ice cream. Very, very delicious. <gasps> Whoa. So there's lots of different fancy pies and fancy cakes. Oh my goodness. This looks like the one right here looks like a chocolate and like cherry maybe cake. Chocolate and cherry cake. Um, this one looks like a cheese cheesecake over here. Oh, cheesecake is very, very good. This one, I'm not too sure what this one might be, but it looks almost like maybe a very nice ice cream. Maybe with some raspberries and strawberries here. It could be a cheesecake. It's kind of hard to tell, but it could be a cheesecake. Oh, and these ones. They look almost like... Kind of like eclairs? Almost. Or like a different- uh, like a different type of eclair. Almost. Like a very fancy one. <laughs> so, we have some- Oh, there- there's the eclair. So, we have some cake. We got some ice cream from before. Ah, a parfait. Parfaits look good. Parfait, sometimes people put like fruits and granola. Um, sometimes people put chocolate in their parfait. Really, really yummy. Really, really yummy stuff. <laughs> Lots and lots of different parfaits. Fruit parfait, chocolate parfaits. Sometimes, oh, they're very fancy. <laughs> oh, you think of Gintama? <laughs> That's so funny. There's lots of there's lots of interesting parfaits. Hmm. We got pies. Oh, cupcakes. Cupcakes are very nice. Cupcakes. Ah, uh, sometimes people have cupcakes for birthday parties. Um, sometimes what some people will do is if they don't want to eat cake, they will have a cupcake. Just because it's a little bit more on the smaller side, and you can control your portions a little bit better that way. Let's see. Oh, there is the sundae. So we talked about banana split. Banana split is a type of sundae. Wow. Sundays. I oh, I've never heard of an avocado pie. Hmm. I wonder how that would be if they would try to make it sweet. My goodness. Do you think that I wonder if that exists? Avocado oh would that exist? Avocado pie? Oh, oops. Oh my goodness, it does exist. I did not know this. It looks really delicious. Oh my gosh. I've never tried one before. I don't think I've ever seen one before either. 
Ooh. It looks very lovely. <laughs> avocado pie. Chocolate avocado pie. Ooh. That looks very delicious. I wonder if you can get something like this at a supermarket, like already prepared. Or maybe you can get this at a bakery. Maybe at the bakery then. Ooh. Very nice, very lovely. Sweet mashed avocado. Oh, that sounds very, very nice. <laughs> oh, so we see that there's some cookies here. So right here, we have some chocolate chip cookies. Cookies. <laughs> it sounds like an anime betrayal. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, and um, I looked up eclairs a while ago for us. Ooh, sometimes for caramel apples, people get them at um, uh, the amusement parks or uh, carnivals. Um, let's see here. Caramel apple. Ooh. So what they'll do is they'll dip maybe green apples or red apples into caramel. And sometimes they will put like some nuts or maybe some other toppings around it. It tastes really delicious. <laughs> Oatmeal raisin is another betrayal for cookie. <laughs> yes, usually for like festivals and anime as well. Oh, very, very good. <laughs> And then, let's see here. Oh, brownies. Oh, and macarons. Oh, both like macarons and macaroons. There's uh, there's two different ways of uh, two different desserts for that one. Let's see here. Got brownies. Oh, brownies are pretty. Um, I would say like chocolate chip cookies and brownies are usually a little bit on the easier side to make. Brownies are really delicious. They're a nice dessert. Sometimes you can put like little sprinkles on top too. Yeah, macaron and macaroons, they're, they're different, right? So, let me see. So macaron. Like these ones, the very, very nice colorful ones. These ones here. I, I know that this, this is a little bit different from macaroons, but macarons. Very, very nice. Um, I hear that these ones are a little bit difficult to make, though. A little bit difficult to make. They're very, very light. <gasps> cosmic brown cosmic brownies are really good to get at the at the supermarket. Cosmic brownies, <laughs> and they're very cheap too. At least I think I I usually think they're uh, cheaper compared to some other things. <laughs> then we have macaroons. Which are uh, these ones. These ones are macaroons. Usually they're uh, they're made with coconut. Macaroons. And then these ones are... Um, macarons. Macarons? <laughs> they're a little bit different. Yes, they're very, very difficult. They're very delicate. And usually they're very expensive because they are difficult to make. So usually when you go to a bakery... Um, they're usually a little bit more on the expensive side. You find powder and flour and shit. Yes, yes. And you gotta be very careful when you, um, I think it's when you put the... Oh, I guess what would it be called? Not the batter, I guess, but... The delicate substance. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh. Oh, and then the w the last thing that I wanted to talk about. Oh, piping them. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Like piping like all the batter up and everything. But I guess I don't think you would call it batter. I guess you would call it something a little bit more on the sweet side, I guess. Ooh, and then snack time. All the things that make snacks healthy or unhealthy. <laughs> Sometimes you can have healthy snacks, sometimes you can have unhealthy snacks. I guess just like right here for the for the apple. 
Sometimes people will have apples for a healthy snack. <laughs> so lots of different ones. I have Mr. Homer Simpson here, and he has all the snacks. <laughs> so we have some like al alternatives here too, because sometimes you can have crackers, like goldfish crackers. There's like Teddy Grahams. Sometimes people like to eat the Nature Valley granola bars. Popcorn would be slightly on the health, slightly on the healthier side compared to chips. So some people like to eat popcorn for less calories. And then there's like the cheese strings that people will bring during lunchtime. Potato chips. Potato chips are very, very, they're very delicious but unhealthy. <laughs> <laughs> so we got chips, we got candy, got chocolate bars. Let's see here. Let's look at candy. Oh. Candy. I meant I meant candy. <laughs> Thank you, Google. Thank you, Google. Lots of different types of sweet candy. Sweet candies. It's rather interesting for um, these ones. These ones are always around Halloween time, candy corn, and people either love them or they hate them because these ones are very, very cheap and you can eat a lot of them. <laughs> sometimes people like candy corn, sometimes people hate it. Candy corn. <laughs> so there's lots of, lots of different types of candy. That's the thing, some people like candy corn. Like, I th I don't really mind it. Um, I would say it's not my favorite, but I, but I don't mind eating it though. <laughs> chocolate, chocolate bar. Oh, lots of different types of chocolate bars too. Sometimes it's good to just have a little bit of chocolate, like a little bit of dark chocolate. Sometimes what I will do for dinner time is I will eat just one little thing of dark chocolate. If you just have one, then it's fine, right after dinner time. Like a little, little treat. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and I think we have soda pop. It's quite interesting because there's some parts of the USA that people just call it soda. But um, there's some parts, well, I think especially in Canada, we just call it pop. So if I think if I type in soda, soda will come up. But if I type, well, I guess if I type in just pop, it would be pop. Just a minute. Let's see if I, uh, it's going to put pop in. Oh, that's kind of funny. Um, if I just type in pop, it's like the pop figurines that come up. I guess I would have to type in pop drink. <laughs> so if I type in soda, it still pops up for in Google. But if I top, if I put in pop drink, then it will uh, do that. So some people call it soda. Some people call it pop. That's the thing. And then and then there's some places I think in the USA or in Canada. People just call all soda Coke or like Coca-Cola, but everything is like Coke. <laughs> so there's a little bit of like differences in like some regions. A little bit of differences. We talked about cookies. We talked a little bit about French fries a while ago too. Some people pair up French fries with their dinner. And we talked about fruit before. Some people will have snacks with vegetables and dip. That's usually a healthier way. If you don't if you don't eat too much dip, it's usually a little bit healthier. A healthier healthier alternative. Sometimes people will have uh, peanuts for a snack, crackers and cheese, granola bar, just like uh, how we saw this one. We have a granola bar. And we also have popcorn, which is uh, right here, the smart food popcorn. 
<laughs> you just call them carbon carbonated drinks. <laughs> it sounds like a mouthful, but yeah. <laughs> carbonated drinks. True, true. <laughs> so that is a lot of foods, meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner that you can buy at your supermarket. Whoa, we got like lots of fruits and vegetables here. Let's see, we got the banana, we got the grapes, the apples and the oranges, carrots, green green onions, cauliflower. <clears throat> wow, lots of delicious, lots of delicious things here. And I'm getting quite hungry, so I'm going to have some dinner too. <laughs> I didn't, uh, I didn't really think about doing any word blanks for today because I think if you want to type any of the vocabulary yourself into Google, I think you should be able to find things yourself this time. And if you want to look for anything in your grocery store, you can just say that I'm looking for something right here. I'm looking for orange juice. I'm looking for yogurt. Paprika or bell pepper? Oh, I mean, I like uh, paprika as a topping and bell pepper tastes pretty good. Like when it's mixed with other things. <laughs> yeah, paprika tastes really good when it's like topped with, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of the last thing I put paprika on. I can't think of the last thing I put paprika on, but bell peppers taste really good too. <laughs> so what I'm going to be having tonight is curry. I'm going to have some vegetable curry. Um, I'm going to make some, I, right before the lesson, I cut up some potatoes, carrots, um, some pepper and uh, onions and Going to mix it all together into a curry. So that's what I'm going to be having for tonight. Oh, oh, so when I think of, I guess, uh, paprika, let me see here. Um, let's see here. Paprika. I think of like the, like the spice that, uh, people put on things. I guess when I think about pepper, I think about actually the vegetable, bell pepper. Uh, maybe a green pepper, yellow pepper, red pepper. Oh, oh, you learned something new then. <laughs> that's interesting, that's interesting. So paprika, I think about is like the spice that you put on top of something. Some people like to put a lot of paprika on, or some people like to put just a little, like a little bit on. Oh, you can put paprika on your eggs sometimes. Sometimes people like paprika with their eggs. Um, their scrambled eggs. Sometimes. Sometimes people like paprika on their fried eggs as well. And then for bell peppers, you can have an orange one, Red bell pepper, green bell pepper, yellow bell pepper. <laughs> Lots of different ones. I I usually like red bell peppers. I don't mind green bell peppers, but I think I like the taste of the red ones more <clears throat> because they're sweet. Oh, okay. Interesting. So when I think of paprika, I think of the spice. So that's that's what I think of when I think of paprika. You like bell peppers and meat? Oh, meatloaf is really good. <clears throat> I I like meatloaf. I made some um I made meatloaf a few days ago. Um, but I had like a small kind of like not like a big meatloaf. I made like more like patties though. Um 
guess they were kind of like burgers, almost in a way, without the bun. <laughs> but uh, meatloaf is really good too. Oh. It's nice when you, yeah, when you have like ketchup and uh, things on top of it. It's really, really, really delicious. Ah, it's so funny. When I typed in meatloaf, you can see there's like the meatloaf, the singer, too. Meatloaf, the artist, the singer, the musician. <laughs> ah. Yeah, meatloaf is really good. Sometimes people will, um,. What I did when I made meatloaf one day is I had meatloaf, but uh, instead of mashed potatoes, like regular potatoes, I did sweet mashed potatoes with cheese, and it turned out really good. It was really delicious. Sometimes people buy things at the grocery store, at the supermarket, but there's also uh, meal alternatives, um, like HelloFresh. Some, pe some people buy HelloFresh so it gets at their door very quickly, and you can prepare food very quickly as well. Although, although it's very expensive. HelloFresh can be very expensive. Usually it's cheaper to uh, go to the supermarket and then buy what you want to buy. But, does anybody have any other questions about food? that you get for your groceries at the supermarket. Let me know if you have any questions about any foods. I'm excited to go eat some curry in a little bit. <laughs> Sometimes when people eat curry, uh, it's nice to have a nice refreshing beer at the same time. Well, perhaps if there's no questions then... Okay. I think it's maybe time for us to, depending where you are in the world, maybe it's your breakfast time, maybe it's your lunch time, and for me, for me in my time zone, it's dinner time. I think it's time, I think it's time that we have a meal. <laughs> no, no questions then, sounds good. So, maybe if it's time for you to have a snack, definitely have a snack. If it's, if it's that time of day. Oh, it's breakfast time then, nice. I hope everyone has a great breakfast, I hope you have a great lunch, or I hope you have a great dinner time. Ooh, fried chicken. Fried chicken sounds really good right now. <laughs> Your questions have been answered. That's good, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I think um, when it comes to food versus food, just think about the uh, countable and uncountable nouns. Which I'll, I'll pull up again right here. So food versus foods. Countable and uncountable nouns. So it's like, it's like for example, when you know that uh, in English, uh, when we drink water, we say water. Um, but we don't use the word, I'm drinking waters. We say, I'm drinking water. So that would be another example. I'm drinking water. So that would be the correct way to say that for which words are countable and uncountable. Ooh, mozzarella sticks. That sounds really good. That sounds really delicious. Mm-hmm, exactly. Yes, exactly. So water would be uncountable. Mm hmm Okay. Well, if there is no more questions, and we're all going to be eating soon, I hope that you have a wonderful week. Monday. Monday is almost over, and I hope everyone has a great week. There's lots of... There's also going to be lots of fun things. <laughs> um... Be sure to check into Miss B's streams, check into Aki's streams, and Dr. Mo's streams as well. 
Yes. Yeah, you can count the containers, but not the water. Yeah, exactly. So you can have water bottles. You can have water bottles. But we're not counting water itself, though. Mm -hmm. Have a great week. Yes, everybody. Have, have a wonderful week. And, and if you liked anything from the stream for today, or anything from Miss B streams, or Aki streams, or Dr. Mo streams, be sure to share it on our Twitter, share it to the Reddit, whichever you would prefer. Because we love to see what everyone creates. So, I will see you next Sunday and next Monday. So, I'll see you, I'll see you next week then. Everyone have... A wonderful, wonderful day and wonderful, wonderful week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.